Right, bought a couple of these jacks yesterday. Uh, just to give you an idea of scale, they're pretty big. They didn't look that big in the picture, if I'm honest. Uh, I got told this one and the one on the floor just needed a couple of oil seals. I gave £20 for the pair, which is a steal. These old ones, I mean, there's some weight in this. Um, that ain't going anywhere when it's under the car. So looking at just taking some bits off just so I can get to the seal. Uh, turned out the seal wasn't actually on on this piece, which it normally is. It's actually located inside there. So this is the old one that come out. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to tell whether it's worn or not, but obviously leaking. So I replaced the seal in there with the new one. That's good to go, but what happens? I had a closer look at this and it's just pitted. There's no rescuing that at all. Um, I tried getting a bit of wet and dry on it. It ain't touching it. The, the pits go too deep, so it's going to allow oil to pass the seal. So, my plan is, I had a little look through my scrap pile. And I just so happens to have a bit of stainless steel. Solid. It was an old... Uh, old roller or old bearing that I dug out the skipping work so my plan is chop that little piece off the end round it off the same as that cut it to length grind this off here cut that one to size weld that on there and that should be it that will allow me to hopefully get this jack working again once <clears throat> I've got it working, I'm going to powder coat it, take it all back to bare metal, make it look like new, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, just got that mounted up, we'll cut that off, bevel the edge, then we'll cut it to size. So what we end up with is that. So I'm just going to cut this off here. Right, as you can see, that's been chopped off, cleaned off nicely. That will sit on there like so. I'll give it a bead, oh well they ain't that good, <laughs> so I'll bead it, get it on there, and see it's not under any load, it's need to push the oil up and down, so as long as it's on there, I'll be happy. Right, so this is what we've ended up with. It's in a lot better condition as the old one. There's no pitting. Nice, clean, shiny metal. This will give a good seal against the O-ring. The shaft may be fractionally shorter, but not that it's going to matter. Um, this piece sticks beneath the O-ring the by about 10 mil anyway, so um, I think that'll do it. So we'll put it back together. If the jack works, we'll refurb it. If it doesn't, I don't know. A little bit more investigating. Right, so it's fitted in. It felt nice and snug going in, which is a good sign. So, moment of truth. We'll lock it off. Give it a few pumps. And that looks to be good. So, we'll put the top bracket on. Make sure it does work nice. Right, put it all back together again. I did notice there's a spring missing from here, 
on the search of one of them. The fill cap or the fill bolt was absolutely in there. There's no getting that out. So it was only going quite away because of the amount of oil that was in there. So pumped it up till it'd go no more. Took this pin out, filled it up, pushed it down. Jack went up a bit more. Did that until the jack was at fully height. Load it, repeat the process again, and then that bled it up lovely. So we will make the decision to get this back down to bare metal and uh, we'll powder coat it so it looks new again. If you could like and subscribe, uh, give us a bit of support now. YouTube have changed all their rules. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching.